going to get straight to the point. Today I want to show you a new way people are generating unlimited leads on Facebook using a few very simple and free AI resources. This is going to be the difference between making $0 a month in revenue to scaling up to $10,000, dollars $50,000 a month and beyond. By the end of this video, you're going to learn four things. How to use AI to scrape and extract group member information. How to organize and clean the collected data. How to create personalized outreach messages through ChatGBT. And finally, ways to implement automation to send messages. So before we get started, I want to make it clear that this video is for educational purposes only. The techniques shown here are intended to demonstrate technical processes, and I do not encourage or endorse any use that violates platform terms of service, privacy laws, or ethical guidelines. All right, enough with the formalities, let's just get down to business. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we find the right Facebook group. So. We're gonna go ahead and log into Facebook. In the upper left, we're gonna to go to the search bar and we're gonna go ahead and type in uh, the group, the audience that we wanna target. So this could be anything like if you're going after coaches, consultants, real estate, you know, whatever type of business owner you're looking for. For this example, I'm just gonna do something very generic. So we're gonna say small business owners in, and then you wanna make sure to specify an area so you can really uh, narrow it down. So let's just say Los Angeles and we can go ahead and submit that and then from here in the left hand side where we want to go ahead and click on groups to filter that piece of information so real quick um, when it comes to choosing groups uh, we want to make sure that we have groups that have a large number of members so this one here has 879 you know this is a big one 394,000 um, the second thing that we want to look for is um, how often they're posting, right? Because we want fresh leads. We don't want things that are stagnant or just like dead accounts. So this one's 10 plus posts a day. Um, these are pretty good. So for this example, let's just go ahead and um, click on this. Um, oh yeah, real quick. Yeah, probably like 5,000 members and above is a good like starting point. So let's just go ahead. This one has 6.1K, four posts in a month. Uh, you know, it's just, this is just for educational purposes only. So once you found that group, now what we want to do is actually uh, scrape the information. So we're going to use a tool called Instant Data Scraper. Uh, the Instant Data Scraper is a Chrome extension. It's a no-code tool that uh, quickly extracts data from websites and then turns it into a CSV or an Excel file. Um, it, it literally just takes a few clicks. So you'll want, if you don't have this, um, you'll want to go to the uh, Chrome Web Store and you're gonna wanna search for Instant Data Scraper and then you can go ahead and download it. So once it's installed, here's how you're gonna actually use it in this scenario. Um, you're gonna go into Facebook and click on People right here and it's gonna give you a list of all the members in the group. You're gonna go to the upper right and click on your extensions and click Instant Data Scraper. From there, this pop-up is gonna appear and it's gonna have all the members information here so um, if you scroll down here, right, it, there's no button that takes you to the next. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on infinite scroll right here, and we wanna go ahead and start crawling. So essentially what it's doing, it's just going to keep going through the list automatically until the list ends, right? So hence the name infinite, infinite scroll. So once that's done, we wanna go to the uh, window and click on CSV file. It's important that you get a CSV file and we wanna go ahead and download it. All right, so from this point, we wanna go ahead and clean up the data. We wanna make sure it's organized and we're gonna switch over to Google Drive. Once in here, we're gonna go ahead and upload that CSV file that we created. So you can just like drag and drop it in here. And then from there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a folder. It's very important to have all, all of this information in one folder. You wanna make sure we're compartmentalizing things so you can quickly recall it in the future. So upper left, you click on new and then new folder, and then we'll just call this one leads. So you can go ahead and click on create. And then what you wanna do is take that CSV file and put it inside that folder. From there, we're gonna go ahead and open that uh, CSV file up. We're gonna go ahead and right click on the CSV file and open with Google Sheets. Okay, so once this opens up, we're gonna go ahead and just start cleaning this information up here. So we're gonna 
We're gonna expand these a little bit and then we're going to start labeling the columns. And this is very important because whatever third party software you're gonna to use to actually like create these campaigns um, is going to need to understand this um, when you're mapping this information onto the to that platform. So um, for example here, we can just call that page because that's the uh, Facebook page information. This one we can just call the name, this one Let's just call this date joined and this one is the uh low and this one is the let's just call this info all right so once we've done that we want to go ahead and create a new column up here and we're gonna call this one first name so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract the first name from this name list and place it over here in this column because when we're uh, creating our copywriting we want to make sure yeah we don't want to be addressing people with full names um, you know we want to make it really casual so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and paste this prompt in here and um, I'm sorry it's not a prompt it's really it's not a prompt it's an Excel formula this one that's right here and what it's doing is pulling the first name now in Excel now in Excel um, so now we want this to so now we want this to be the same for all of our entries in here. So in Excel, what we're gonna do is click and drag uh, the small square at the bottom right corner of the uh, selected cell here, right? So when it turns into that crosshair, and then we're gonna drag it all the way down to the end of the list, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and pull that information quickly. It's gonna extract the first names for everyone. So at that point, you know, it's you're just going to have to clean things up. So some of them are just like business names instead of a uh, person's first and last name. And the system, you know, will generate an error. So you're going to want to make sure and clean all that stuff up. All right. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and create a personalized outreach message. And we're going to use ChatGBT. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this prompt. And we're going to go ahead and submit. And then this is what it's going to output. So this looks pretty good. I uh, saw you, hey, first name, saw you in the group. Just wanted to share how AI tools can save time and boost leads for businesses like yours. Curious, let me know, I'd love to chat, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And then we're gonna head back over to the Google Sheets and we're gonna create a new column called message. We can go ahead and type it here. All right, so in this new column, we wanna go ahead and add this formula. What this is gonna do, it's gonna extract the first name from this column and place it into this custom personalized message that we created. So from here, we're gonna use that same technique that we used before, where we're gonna click in the bottom right and drag down, like so. And let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Wow, there you go, man. Look how cool that looks. You literally just recreated a personalized message at scale. And um, real quick, you know, I also wanna create a video on how to use GPT for Sheets. Uh, essentially, we're gonna use the same techniques here, except we're using like OpenAI and prompts to even customize this further. All right, so once we have this information, we wanna make sure that we're automating the outreach. So, um, you know, instead of spending hours manually sending these messages, um, there are several tools and methods available for outreach, adam outreach automation. Uh, for starters, you know, Make or Zapier, those are uh, visual platforms that can help you with the automation process. There are also browser-based automation tools that can streamline this workflow for you as well. So whether you're new to automation um, or just looking to optimize, uh, there are a lot of resources out there. I'm gonna make another video with exactly what type of automations we can use to get this information to those prospective clients. All right, and that's it. Uh, you successfully scraped leads, cleaned up the data, and crafted the personalized messages. And the crazy part here, it was done with resources that are 100% free. The data can now be implemented in a number of ways to create a cold messaging campaign. So if you found this walkthrough helpful and would like to watch more AI tutorial videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, your support means a lot to me. And let me know in the comments section if you found this scraping method helpful and how you typically automate your outreach once you have a list of leads compiled. And if you're interested in implementing other time-saving AI strategies into your business, go ahead and click on that calendar link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. 
There we can go over how AI can help you grow and scale up your business. And for those looking to build and master AI automations, join my school community using the link below to get exclusive insights and support. At the moment, the community is free of charge. Thank you for watching and I will see you at the next video.